हेलो वेलकम टू सिविल निर्माण सो वी गॉट लॉट ऑफ क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग मॉडलिंग ऑफ अ कर्व वीम इन स्टैक प्रो व्हाट्स द राइट मेथड एंड विच ऑप्शन शुड वी प्रिफर टू मॉडल व्हेन वी हैव अ कर्व प्रोफाइल इन आवर स्ट्रक्चर सो लेट्स डिस्कस फैक्ट्स अबाउट कर्व बीम इन स्टैक प्रो सो इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मैथड्स दैट वी कैन अडॉप्ट वाइल्ड मॉडलिंग a cow member in stat and what points we should keep in mind while modeling a cow profile in stat pro so basically in stat we have two options available through which we can model our cow profile right so we will discuss each of them and we will understand its benefits or what we can say we discuss its pros and cons so let's first understand what is a curve beam so according to stat a curve beam is one whose local x axis has a curve profile the curvature of that axis is specified through a radius and the plane of the curve is specified through a gamma angle right so if you can observe a figure over here now let's just try to understand what it wants to convey so as you can observe i have drawn a member profile where the local x local axis of the members are mentioned so i'll repeat the definition again now to make you understand now let's just try to visualize this picture in a 3d manner right so if i look at here we will repeat the definition again so basically a cow beam is one whose local x axis has a curve profile so basically my member axis which is local x axis it has a curve profile the curvature of that axis is specified through a radius right so from i to j you can observe this one is a curve profile with a radius and the plane of the curve is specified through a gamma angle right so this is basically the gamma angle right so i hope you got a clear picture about the cow profile in stat pro now let's get back to modeling part now here you can observe the gamma angle is the angle between the member local y axis and the plane of the circular arc of the member so that's how stat is defining the cow profile now let's understand how we can model the cow member in stat so here basically we have two options as you can see over here this is the first option that you can choose that is from the geometry and here you have one option from the structure wizard when you click on structure wizard in frame model you have circular beam modeling option so here you have one option through which you can model your circular beam also for any other circular profile you have two other options available in terms of cylindrical frame or reverse cylinder so you can choose your segment from here right now understand the second option we will discuss in brief further that which option we can go further for the modeling portion now the second option is available that you can do it manually from the add curve beam option so let's take a look here as you can see over here i have a straight member and then a curve profile so let's understand this let me just take you to the stat pro so just for your understanding right now i have model a uh, three elements as you can see here in the x y and z direction right now i want to create a curve profile in the x y plane okay so this is my x this is my y i'm currently talking about the global axis right so i'll start with the positive side from here to here right the member length is 6 meter you can observe here and when i click over here it will give me a uh, option for the radius of curvature and gamma angle so when i click on add beam and click on curve beam it will change my 
so it will change my cursor to a cow profile now let's say I want to model a cow beam in the XY plane so this is my X this is my Y and this is Z so right now I want to create a cow profile in the XY plane so I'll start from the here click here again click here so it will give me a second option so it will pop up with the another option where the you have to provide the input in terms of radius of curvature and gamma angle right now remember one thing any non taper cross section property currently available in stat it can be assigned to this particular curve profile now I'll enter here just for your understanding as you can see the member length is 6 meter right so right now I am adding a profile value adding a value less than 3 meter okay and let's see what happens so I'm adding currently as a 2.5 and press ok so you can observe there will nothing will happen again I'll click on curve beam profile now I'll enter value as 3 okay and providing gamma angle as in 0 press ok so you can observe a curve profile is generated over here so remember one thing that with that if you are creating a curve profile with a member length option at least your minimum input as an radius value will be the half of the member length below that particular length you can't create a curve profile right so the minimum dimension for creating a curve profile will be half of the member length so that's the first option as you can observe I have created a curve profile in the XY plane now let's get back to again so I'll click again over here from here to here now I'll enter this as in 3 again but with 90 degree gamma angle as in 90 degree and see what happens so it has created on the positive side right now again I'll click on add button I'll go with the minus 90 degree profile again the value will be 3 as the member length is 6 you can observe a curve profile is created on the other direction so that's how you can create now as we have observed as I give you an idea over here so here you can observe the gamma angle which we need to enter over there the now let's try to understand the other option let's say I'm creating a curve profile from here to here in the XY plane right I'm entering 3 as in radius of curvature now currently I'm specifying gamma angle as in 180 degree for the XY plane now let's see what happens right so it will create the segment in the downward portion now let's say I want to create a curve profile somewhere here okay what's the member length here it is 8.4 something right so let me just make it undo first now let's say I want to add a curve profile here which has the member length 8.4 something so I'll click on cursor here curve beam profile click here now let's say I'll enter 4.5 providing zero specification for gamma angle and let's see what happens so for this particular this will be my radius of the arc so, so earlier we are creating our profile with reference to XY plane now for four point two five so this is my 90 degree plane right now let's take a look on 180 degree profile I'll click on add profile curve beam option 180 degree four point two five so it will create my profile something like this right let me just delete this to give you more clarity on this 
so these are the several options you can choose to create a curve profile here now try to understand this right curve members may only be created between two existing nodes and any non tapered cross section is permitted for curve profile now to give you more clarity on this I have just specified the specification for your curve member di profiles that uh, will show you how you can specify your gamma angle based on different categories of axis right now to give you more clarity on this here I have shown a typical sketch to give you an idea how you can create your curvature in a particular plane let's say currently we are talking about the XY plane so if, I, if you are modeling your curvature in the XY plane okay from any point you can start you can start from here or you can start from here so this will represent your gamma angle for the same plane so for the same plane when you enter 0 degree it will generate your curvature in the same plane okay as I shown you over here let's take a look back right right now we have generated this in the same plane now if I want to go outside the plane so I'll go again now I'll provide the 90 degree profile so for the XY plane the 90 degree profile will be perpendicular to my screen right 4.35 so you can observe this is perpendicular right so with reference to that particular plane you have to represent your 0 degree or 90 degree or 180 degree right I just give you a typical idea about that XY plane only so with reference to XY plane your gamma angle represents so basically your gamma angle will be represented through your planes only currently we are modeling in the XY plane so for that particular plane you just have to specify your gamma angle and based on that it will create your curve profile okay now similarly if you want to go with the 180 degree profile right so you when you enter 180 degree profile it will generate your segment something like this okay you can try out in the different planes I have just shown you for the XY plane similarly if you go for the YZ plane so currently we have uh, understood for the XY plane similarly you can try for the different plane let's say you can try for the YZ plane right and you can generate for 0 degree 90 degree 45 degree or 180 degree okay try with the different planes so this one is for the YZ plane if you want to go for uh, arc in a particular direction you can follow this similarly for the XZ plane as well you can check out this okay you can take a screenshot of this so you will get idea how you can generate your curvature profile based on your global axis plane with the global axis plane only now there are some limitations for this particular method so let's understand what are these limitations so cow beam only supports the cell fate and uniformly distributed load only okay also taper section properties composite decks freeze round sections, beta angle, member release, right member springs, offset, physical member, tension or compression all these are not supported for this particular category of the curve profile. Now the other limitation any spinal loads except uniform load throughout the length in the global direction such as member loads, uniform moment, concentrated load, okay concentrated moment, linear or trapezoidal load area load so this particular categories of loads are not supported also imperfections geometric stiffness p delta buckling right mass for dynamic will not include the effect of the member cg being off the cord line also intermediate section displacements and deflection diagrams so all these parameters are not supported here okay also facilities like floor load cannot be used if you are using a curve profile option okay so let's check out these limitations so curve beam only supports cell weight and uniformly distributed load also the limitations I have list out over here you can check out this now facilities like floor load cannot be used if you are using 
cow beams as the cow beam instead does not support a non uniform load distribution on it which is what the flow load is going to come off it right now only a limited number of loading right like self weight and uniformly distributed member loading over the full length of the curves are available as i mentioned loads such as concentrated force or moments at some intermediate point on the curve or trapezoidal loads are not allowed other list you can check out over here right now you can get the displacement and forces only at the end points of the curve right like start and end point now those values are not available at intermediate section locations so consequently the deflection diagram bending moment diagram etc are only approximate for the curve members okay now while performing steel aluminium or timber design the design is performed based only on the forces at the two ends of the curve now this is because of the limitation which i mentioned here okay now mass for dynamics also will not include the effect of the member cg being of the cord line so these are few limitations with the cow profile option right now some other parameters like imperfection geometrical stiffness p delta buckling so these are few limitations due to this we generally don't prefer this particular option now let's switch to the second option so which is the better option to go for the curve profile when we have a curve profile in a so which is the better option to go with the curve profile when our structure consists of a curve beam or curve profile so the first i already mentioned in the structure wizard frame models you have this circular beam option right now also creation of the curve member can be done by assembling small linear segments in terms of straight line okay so in this particular regard apart from circular grid some other method can be applied also you can choose an option from the circular repeat as well right so these are few options you can choose now what's the third option so in the third option you can use autocad to draw any cow shape but when it is saved as dxf file it will not appear in the stead after importing as cow member right as because cow members are not imported now before saving the file in autocad as dxf format keep in mind that divide the cow into as many as equal part using divide command okay then connect the points using the line command as line command is imported as beams in stat okay and in that particular keep in mind that you have to keep the origin as 0 0 now in the third option what you can do find out the coordinates of the curve profile okay now just to give you an idea let me just give you a sample over here so this particular curve profile is created using a circular repeat option right i have the idea if i show you the plan dimension over here so my periphery of the beam is defined through a sent some certain point of origin and through which i have created only a one frame like this right and then i have provided a circular repeat command through a link step so that's how you can create your curve profile if you have right so this is one option the other one find out the coordinates of the curve and enter in excel program copy from the excel program and the coordinates and enter in the node format of stat so it will form the node and then connect the node with the add beam tool in stat right now let me just give you an other idea what i can do so i'll open my other model now as you can see over here i have developed a curve profile okay for this particular model but it is in terms of a straight beams with lot of curvature profile okay you can check out this so basically what i have done 
creation of the curve member by assembling small linear straight elements okay so if you know the radius part from your so if you have predefined radius in your structure you can create a curve profile like this by using a straight line members right like this so this this particular geometry is created with a straight line members only but I have predefined radius so based on that I have created this curve profile over here let me just show you the other model so in one of our structures see here also we have a curve profile in our building but you can observe the curve profile is created at some origin with a predefined radius part okay but these are straight members only okay straight line elements but as you can see over here these are the straight lines only right with the circular repeat command that we have created okay so the advantage over here is so if you create your curve profile utilizing this small straight line members like this you have an option to get your results in terms of detail output like you get your output for the normal straight line beams right now just to give you an idea let me just draw another beam over here how I have created this okay so let's say I have a frame now just to give you an idea try to understand let's say I have a predefined regular frame model like this now I want to create a curve profile from the same for the same so how can I do this so basically I'll select the my member profile okay but keep in mind that you have your radius origin from which you want to create your curve profile right so as you can observe I have created a reference line through which I will create my curvature okay so like I show you here right you have you should have your origin reference line so I'll select this now I'll go to the circular repeat option right and I'll choose a node over here now let's say in 60 degree I want six number of steps with a link option right so that's how you can create this see so a curve profile can be generated like this again I'll show you so currently my model is in the XY plane right and I want to go for a curve profile in a building let's say with a three floor right so I'll go with a circular repeat option here Y direction let's say for a 90 degree I need five number of steps so I'll choose link steps and this is my reference line or what we can say the axis of rotation through which I want a curve profile for my building so I choose this particular node now I'll press OK right so that's how also you can create so the building which I shown you earlier that was created using a reference line axis like this so that's how you can choose this particular option okay so this option is better compared to the curve profile one because here you get an idea or what so here is the basic advantage of getting all your result in terms of the normal beams okay in the track to output you get your detail output which is not available in the the first option that we have discussed as you have more number of divisions you will get more accurate circle right so that's how I have created the profile over here for this particular building right so I hope you get the useful information from this particular video now if you like the video share with your friends don't just learn software learn concepts Thank you.